Hello and welcome to this Spark AR tutorial and in this video we will be looking at how to create a simple target marker. So what this will mean is instead of it using facial tracking we will be able to actually map 3D content or digital content over a 2D plane. That can be either a poster, a photo, a image or a surface such as a table or floor. So in order to do this we simply create a new project going to maximize this like so and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to here where it says insert and we're going to insert our plane tracker a tra uh, this is a tool that tracks an infinite horizontal plane um, and it can only track one plane tracker in a scene at a time at this current stage so let's just drag this back up here up here into hierarchy like so, so we make sure it's the child of the camera, which it currently is. And we should have this little blue square down here, which represents our image target or our plane. If we look over here to our properties, you'll notice we have this option called targets, which currently has currently set to nothing. If I simply click the little plus button here and select texture, and I choose a image for my machine so I'm just going to find an image of the university that I've downloaded earlier there it is and let's simply import that this now brings in my image as a texture down here and you can see my image is applied to my plain image here like so so if I was to play this on my mobile phone, uh, when I see this image, it would detect it, but currently it wouldn't show anything. So in order to show something, we need to add some content to be parented to this. So what I'm going to simply do for today is I'm just going to go to the AR library, which is the inbuilt sketch fab. And I am going to download a person 3D model from the sketch fab library, which I've already signed into. And I'm going to just download this one. Let me just close this for a second and open it up again, search for a person, I'm going to simply click hit import here and it will import my 3D asset person from Sketchfab into my project with all the textures and if there's any animation files would also be brought along with it. I'm just going to drag my Lucy 3D model onto my plane tracker until I see this little plus icon appears. And this will mean that this is now a child of the parent, which is this plane. So at the moment, my 3D model is incredibly large. So I'm just going to scale this down to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 on all the axis, like so. So you can sort of see now how I've got this 3D model that is now parented to this scene. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this and manipulate this so I'm going to adjust its rotation so it looks like it's standing on the image I'm going to bring her up so her feet are just on top of the surface like so and if I wanted to go a bit further I'd actually also bring in a, um, a flat 2D image plane of like a shadow with a bit of gauzing below underneath I'm not going to do that for now just to sort of for speed reasons and if I simply have my phone plugged into my computer I go up to where and I open up the Spark AR application. I simply launch the AR player on my phone, click mirror, and on my mobile phone, if I now open up my preview image, so I just open up my tracking image like so. I'm just going to open this up with preview. And now when I point my phone at the screen, it will now track my image in real time. So that's a very very quick overlook and preview of how to use plane trackers. I hope this has been of some help to some of you guys and gals and I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching.